Hello again, a new day, the same old project. Let's uh, take a look at the Akasom uh, input. We can see it already on the screen. Is this guy there? This one? I think it's a transistor. Let me check with uh, the multimeter in diode mode. And so far, let's start this way. That's the input anyway. We can see very clear that's the input, the base. But uh, I observe something. That means emitter should be on the ground. And here we are. We have the we have something on the ground here, and that's the emitter. And this is together with pin number three. I think it's one, two three four four with two probably anyway but now if i'm having a minus on the base nothing here nothing to the oh yes base collector nothing base to ground or emitter nothing okay let's uh, reverse the testers let me apply plus to to the base here 843v okay we should have the same on collector yes we have so this is a very clear transistor and now let's see emitter collector that's interesting but i believe this is because we have some other components we have some coils and some resistors going from the collector to the ground so i don't bet on that but this is very clear and if we turn it the other way with minus on the we got nothing so this is a very clear transistor well the single problem is that if i want to replace this with zpf i need a really good ground connection like this maybe here because the zpf it's working with some other currents so it needs a very good um, heat dissipation or maybe i should have it right here tied to the ground and then with small pieces of wire input and output well let's see what i can do okay I'm not sure shall I use my soldering iron yes you see the point is these components are kind of tied to the to the PCB almost glued not this one I've been kind of lucky almost there yeah and the transistor is in perfect shape yes it is i can reuse it later okay so there we have the place for you see i need some better lighting i think that's the way i'm gonna do it i'm gonna have the zpf tied right here because we need power or heat dissipation and then I'll use some pieces of wire to connect it uh, to the board. So we have number one, it's input, two is ground and three, it's out. So up here we have a really nice, good ground connection. Yes, it's ground and we can give a try. yeah perfect input and output okay that one of course the input yeah very good and this one goes down there well, it's not very elegant, but 
that this should work I don't like this one up here much better now to be sure that nothing wrong happens there I'm gonna have a piece of isolation under yeah perfect this is okay this is okay let's check the output okay. 3.9 ohms to the ground this is so perfect Akasom with CPF 5189Z okay it's time for testing but first let me have some voltages and I need 12 volts power supply so power on obviously everything's okay we should have no voltage no voltage here how comes oh yeah of course <laughs> this one it's out oh man <laughs> be ready we should have no everything's fine let me have a resistor let me see we should have uh, around 4 volts here at the output because we have 5 here 4.6 and here at the transistor output okay people so what can I say bad news you see uh, I just find a good place for this guy it's connected but the point is that we have this transistor here which delivers power through a few resistors and coils from from the output um, connector here relay let's call it so this one gives uh, on let's call it an off power to this transistor because SPF it's way too hungry it's taking like 130 milliamps the little resistor here 20 ohms just blow up okay I try a different approach with a resistor directly to ZPF but uh, it's still not good the power this amplifier needs it's way too much so I'm afraid this is not a solution the bad point is that ZPF uh, ZPF I have and uh, bought it from uh, from eBay I think or AliExpress anyway these are fakes if it could be if, it, if this could be originals then we have a much much better uh, how can I say a much much better output you know these fakes or semi fakes or I don't know they have a really really low output resistor and as you can see now I'm having here 3.6 ohms this means 120 130 milliamps and the, this transistor here it's not capable of delivering this power so the project is getting very very uh, complicated no I have to change this transistor for a bigger one then to rework all these um, resistors and coils and all the other stuff for fitting with the new power or current let's say and uh, I just forgot my microphone okay yes I got it so I'm sorry to say that but for now this is a no-go project so no all we can do is to find another transistor instead of this guy instead of this little guy here and to try to replace it with a better model or I don't know maybe no this is it's not working this way well I thought it's enough power 
to be delivered to ZPF 5189, but it proves no, it can't. A simple uh, replacement or feeding uh, 5189 is not working. It can, but it's way too much work to do and I'm sorry, but this is the end of the project. And that's it and there's nothing else to be done. Thank you for now and uh, I hope it's useful. Please like, please subscribe and uh, don't forget to have fun because I don't have it. <laughs> Bye.